Hey guys, today I'm in Yeri town and I'm doing diet shopping. Here's what you should buy if you're looking to strength build or body build. Join me. So, starting out with sweet potatoes. Who the fuck is that guy? So, we were shopping for sweet potatoes. Um, sweet potatoes are very beneficial, especially if you're looking for, for strength and energy. It contains a lot of calories, a lot of probiotics, a lot of antibiotics, and a lot of vitamins. Vitamins. So this, this should never miss in your diet. This should ne never miss in your diet if you're looking for, uh, for strength, if you're looking for energy, if you're looking to build your body, and if you're looking to build your strength. This should never miss in your diet. I repeat, this should never miss in your diet. We are buying two kilos, two kilos of sweet potatoes cost 200 shillings. 200 shillings for two kilos. So that's 200 shillings for sweet potatoes. Let's go for one. Let me just check my list for anything else. I think that's it for uh, this market. Let's go back to the market. So next up, we are gonna head up for flour. In Africa, we call it unga. Let's head, let's go, let's go. If you're looking to strength build, by the way, you should not buy um, grade one or very processed foods. Um, semi or half processed foods are the best. I usually buy my flour uh, as a portion meal. Ungo knows that? 90 bob. 90 bob. Is you the LBI? Two kilos half processed flour. So one of the best benefits I find when you're taking, uh, when you're cooking half processed maize flour is that um, you get a lot of strength, you get a lot of a lot of energy from it, and it gives also gives you a lot of nutrients for the body and a lot of um, a lot of carbs. Um, for you to be able to lift those weights and for you to be able to draw your body, draw your strength, uh, and to get those gains, which we all, which we all want, right? So let's get it. So this is uh, two kilos of half-processed maize flour. This will be enough for one or two weeks. Depends on how we're going to train, but uh, you can take one kilo if you're starting, two kilos if you're advanced. So two kilos in an African portion meal will cost me about um, Kenya shillings, 180 for two kilos. You can see how the economy is killing us. And Matuma. So two kilos of bread tooth maize flour for 180 shillings. Convert that into your local currency. So now let's head up for some proteins. Let's go, let's go. Let's get some proteins. Eggs here. So, Nyaja? My own was Aja? 15. 15 Bob Moja. So, training? Training for 50. Yes. I'm going to go to the train. I'm going to go to the train. What? I'm going to go to the train. I'm going to go to the train. Shit, I'm going to go to the train. I'm going to go to the train. Okay, 
look at what we have here. My 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 mid floor just so so when you're going for that shopping just be careful to to carry an extra bag or, or to put extra bag, uh, extra extra package on your on your shopping so that you avoid instances like this. But thankfully this guy's got me. So we've bought um, two trays of eggs. This will be enough for, for one week. A tray goes for Kenya shillings 450. Since we're in Kenya, um, this, this is the price that, that, that it's going for. 450 for one tray. We've taken two trays, so that's 900, 900, 900 shillings for. Give you So eggs are. Eggs are the are the main the main uh, bodybuilding unit for growth. If you're looking to bodybuild any part, whether whether it's chest, whether it's legs, whether it's the back, the eggs should never miss in your diet shopping. Eggs are very important. Eggs contain about six grams per egg. So if you eat um, ten to fifteen eggs a day, that's like ninety to a hundred or a uh, hundred and something drums of proteins a day. Eggs you never miss in any of your diet. I repeat, eggs you never miss in any of your diet if you're looking for gains. And if you're looking to bodybuild, strength build, any building, even if you're looking to um, to house build, <laughs> eggs you never miss in your diet. So this is our, 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 week's, our week's major. Let's see if it will uh, Let's see if it will it will finish a week. Um, if you're going to train a lot, it might it might not be enough. But also this is it. Eggs also also contain a lot of probiotics, antibiotics. They contain a lot of nutrients. The main body build the main bodybuilding unit is the egg. So now let's head up for some carbs. Ah, I think carbs and proteins, yeah. Sasa? So we are here. This is my main joint for for carbs. Carbs and groundnuts. So what you Carbs and groundnuts are going to get uh, some rice. Some rice and some groundnuts. Um, I think this shopping will be enough to cover two weeks or so. Depending on our level of training, since I'm training for competition, it will be enough. But let's just see. Stick up for more content. So, uh, no Zaja. Yeah, 160, the best quality you have. So, um, bodybuilding foods are very quite expensive. Um, like a, a kilo of groundnut goes for goes for uh, 240 shillings, Kenyan shillings. That's why I'm saying to maintain to maintain a healthy diet is all about money, and also being unhealthy is all will also cost you a lot. Will cost you three times more than being healthy. So it's your decision. You either choose to be healthy or you choose to be unhealthy. Being healthy is an ex expensive. Being unhealthy is thrice as expensive. So we'll buy, uh, we're going to take one and a half kilos of rice. This is one and a half kilos, 160, 240. So one and a half of, one and a half kilos of, Nisindana uh, Mapishori. One and a half kilos of Sindano rice at 240 shillings. Then groundnuts half a kilo at uh, 120 shillings. So that's going to cost us around um, one, 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 120 plus 240, that's 360. 360. And this is not going even to finish a week, trust you me. I'm going to take half, half a cooking oil at 120 shillings. What's going to cook all these foods? Cooking oil. 
and uh, you should always take salad oil if you're taking the healthy option route salad oil is the best don't take kimbo uh, don't take solid solid oil this is the best this is the healthy healthiest option you can have salad oil 120 what's 120 120 120 shillings it and dosha wiki moja kidogo Half a kilo of groundnuts won't even, won't even take us for three days, so I've taken one kilo of groundnuts, which is 240, 240 shillings, one kilo of groundnuts. So you can see the economy is, is infringing to the common mwananchi. But we'll survive. We'll thrive. And we'll survive. Because you're strong. You're strong through it all. It's one kilo of donuts. Ah. I can I can feel I can feel the weight now. So one kilo of groundnuts. At um, 240, 240, 280. One kilo of groundnuts at 280 shillings. Then um, one, one and a half kilos of sindano at at 240 shillings. Then um, half a half half a liter of cooking oil at 120, 120 shillings. So tell me how much. So let's let's look how much it will set us back for so just this two. Huh? Six six hundred and forty shillings for a healthy bodybuilding and strength building diet. Six six hundred and forty. Six hundred and forty shillings. <coughs> it's our. As you can see the bugs. Very heavy, heavy with nutrients, proteins, carbs, everything you can get. So if you're going for, for that shopping, always carry extra bags. These are just extra costs for spills, food spills. So that's, that, that's it. We've gotten rice, we've gotten groundnuts, we've gotten oil. Rice are very good for bulking. If you're looking to bulk, rice is the best option. Proteins, groundnuts. Oil for cooking all these nutrients that you have. So now let's head up for supper. Let's see what you're having for supper. So for supper today we are having meat. And which kind of meat? The best one. I prefer is pork. Niaje? So, what's your name? Ni kilo ngapi? Ni kota. Kota? Kilo is kota. So, ni wike kota kilo. Yeah. So we're going to take quarter kilo. Quarter kilo is 200, 200 shillings. 200 for for pork, white meat. Yes, I'm going to cut it. The gondog. I've seen the gondog at Kawaida too. So one best thing about pork is its proteins and its taste. It has a really unique taste. It has a really good taste, especially if you're eating with ugali. So we're going to mix it up with ugali today. Join me for supper if you can. Ugali and pork. Pork is a white meat that everybody loves. Africa, US, Brazil, it's loved by everyone, except Muslims. Muslims don't eat pork. If you're a Muslim bodybuilder, this might not be for you, but um, white meat is the best especially because um, its, absorption, its absorption rate is high. It's higher than um, red meat and it's very healthy. So our supper is done. 
think we have everything we need for supper. You can also mix it up with avocado. Avocado is very good for bodybuilding. Um, follow me to see where I'll get my avocado today. Very good. Uh, avocado is very good for vitamins. It has very healthy fat, especially if you're bulking any building. If you're maintaining a healthy diet, and if you're, if you're looking into getting into healthy diet, avocado is the thing. Mix it up with white meat, mix it up with red meat, mix it up with rice, mix it up with everything. Have at least one a day. 200. We are almost done. Let's go for some vitamins, some fats. So that was me in the streets of Nyeri town doing some diet shopping for bodybuilding and strength building and it's a wrap follow for more content like this subscribe <laughs>